Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and today I'm going to be sharing something that I think you stats nerds are absolutely going to love. So I collected some information from Uber X rides that I did in August, September, and October of this year. It's a total of two months from August 17th to October 16th. And there's some very interesting information. So let's uh, let's talk, uh, give a few disclaimers before we get into it, and then we'll switch over and you'll be able to see my screen and we'll talk about the stats that I did because I created this really cool spreadsheet that I think a lot of you are going to like. It's not as good as um, Dr. A's spreadsheets, but I, I think it's pretty good. Anyway, so uh, full disclaimer, I am in a smaller market in upstate New York. You may make more, you may make less than what I make. I typically drive, so a lot of these trips you'll see are either early in the morning, commute into work, or the commute home from work. I don't do a lot of weekend driving. There is some of that here, but for the most part, most of my rides are on the commute to and from work. All right, so. Let's dig in. I'm going to switch to there. You should be able to see these stats. So as you can see here for the first uh, the first day I started taking information on was August 17th. And if we come way down here, you can see August 16th at uh, on a Saturday was the last trip that I took. So um, I've just highlighted here, right here, you can see whenever I got a long pickup fare, that additional income as well as whatever the minimum fare supplement was. So if you don't know what a minimum fare supplement is, is if you that trip doesn't pay you the minimum guaranteed for each trip, Uber will supplement that much so that you get that minimum fare from the trip. All right, so let's look a little bit at some of this information here. I have a surge column here, wherever I received surge. And as you can see, there were not a lot of trips where I got surge on. Um, total of 15 surges, 14.71% of the trips had surge. Uh, the surge was only 6% of my earnings. Now this is the, if you, what you're looking at right here, this is the overall Time on trips that I spent, 21 hours on 100 trips, and I earned $46.30 total per hour um, out of 100 trips. So like I said, your market might be different. You may not be able to earn this kind of money on hourly trips. Um, so there's that. You can see all the different amounts that I got here. Uh, the base fare in my market is 78 cents. And then there's the distance, which I believe is 65 cents a mile. And then any other supplements. So this had a long pickup fee, long pickup time. And if we'll come over here to the side, you can see I have some other interesting statistics for you. So I have the total. Let's just look at this row here. This is a good example. Couple good examples on the first two rows. Um, the total that I was paid, how much the customer paid, how much Uber was paid, third parties or fees and things like that. And you can see here that Uber's take on this trip where the customer paid nearly $19, they took 58.58% of the fare and my take was 41 0.42%. Now on the very next trip that morning, let's look at some of the information here on this trip. Again, another long pickup fee. Again, keep in mind, um, these are early morning trips and this unfortunately happens a lot in my market. Uh, so the total on this trip, I got paid $6.90. The customer paid $11.92. Uber got $4.57, $0.45 went to the third parties. Uber's take was 39.8%. Uh, 
my take was 60.16%. So um, I calculated Uber's take. Um, as you can see here, you're looking at that going, wait a minute, that's 100%. What about this that went to third parties? Uh, that's still money that I didn't get paid. And although it doesn't go to Uber, it's money that didn't go to me. So just to make the stats a little bit easier, I just did it this way. So again, this was um, a, these are kind of typical trips in the market. And as you can see, the way I marked these was based on, I kind of color coded them based on my take versus Uber's take. So if I made anything over 50%, um, it was green. If I made under 40%, it was this really, really bright red. And there's a number of these trips here. We'll take a look at that information as we go through the trips. Let's take a look at a trip where I got a tip. So as you can see here, I got a $3 tip on this trip uh, on a Friday morning. And that went... So that total payout was $7.18. The customer paid $9.71. Uber got $5.17. So even with a tip, I got less than 50% of what was paid to Uber. Now, I think when Uber calculates things, so see, that would be three. Yeah, so this would have been a $4 trip normally four dollars and 18 cents but they paid me three dollars that's the only reason this take number is as high as it is uh, let's take a look at a trip where i had the highest take that was this one on a sunday at 4 p.m again like i said i don't typically drive on weekends but occasionally i do again a long pickup fee here i got four dollars and 61 cents uh, on a long pickup fee and no tip, of course. <laughs> Why would they tip you for that? Uh, $16 was the total that I got paid. The customer paid $22.46. Uber took $5.29, which means they only got 24.46% and I got 75.54% of the fare. Now, the reason that is, is because of this long pickup fee. Um, Uber gives you 100, it appears to me from what I can tell is Uber gives you 100% of long pickup distance and time fees. So they don't take any of that. That's their way to supplement you to go on this long trip. So not too bad. Let's take a look at a surge trip here. Here's one, uh, that same afternoon where I got uh, $9.95 in surge and the total I received what, with a tip was $6.13. The customer paid $27.49. Uber took $12.33. There was over a dollar in fees to third parties, so I made about 53.4% of what the customer paid. Here's a really nasty one. So this was in the morning uh, on a commute. This was another long pickup. Um, if you take take a look at this, minimum fare supplement was two dollars. Uh, actually, so it wasn't a long pickup. Uh, the fare time was fifty six cents. Uh, I waited for uh, I got one cent worth of wait time, waiting to pick this person up. The total payout was four dollars and nineteen cents. The customer paid eleven dollars and nineteen cents. I got about 39% of that fare. So, um, yeah, that's not, I'm sorry, I'm just now realizing you guys can't see those columns over there. 38, I got about 39% of that fare. Um, here's another high paying one that was on a Saturday and no surge, pretty good payout of almost $30. And I took 65% of that. So it's really kind of all over the board when it comes to what percentage. There's no rhyme or reason, it appears to me, 
and maybe I would need more analysis to, to determine this, but there appears to be no rhyme or reason as to how Uber splits what you're getting. Um, let's look at a few more uh, total stats. So the total earnings on 100 trips was $1,000. I averaged $10.01 per, uh, per trip. And the customers on average paid $16.29. Uh, so they paid $1,626.66 to Uber. Uber took 700 of that, and 64 of that went to uh, third parties. So I kept 53% of um, what was earned. Now, I did a little bit of analysis here. My highest take... Um, was 112%. There's 100.63% that I took. Um, where is that 112? Yeah, here's the 112. This is an interesting trip here. Uh, because what I think happens here is Uber probably paid this person back or they had some kind of credit or something. So there was a $5 surge. Uh, I waited for them. I got a dollar for waiting. The total I got paid was $10. The customer paid $8.45. So they must have had some kind of gift card or something, which allowed me to take almost 100, basically to take 113% <laughs> of what uh, the customer paid, so to speak. Uh, so I earned 113% of what the customer paid, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, pretty, pretty interesting. Here's the really lowest one here, which is a 31%. 0.57% on a Monday morning on my way into work. I got $4.17 and the customer paid $13.72 and there was no surge. No surge, no long pickup. Again, no rhyme or reason why I only got 32% of the pay on that trip. But the good thing is, is that it does appear to average out that I'm going to get 53% of what was paid. Would I like to see that number higher? Obviously. So when you look at the mode, which if you don't know, mode is the number that appears the most often in a data set. It's 47.61%, which I think there's like seven or eight times that I got paid 47.61%. This seems to be the most common percentage that I'm being paid. I mean, obviously, overall, uh, let's see if I can move this a little bit here for you so you can see that a little bit better. I mean, overall, what am I getting paid? I'm getting paid about 53% of what Uber's getting paid. But when you think about the fact that I had a couple rides that went, I had one that was 112% and one that was just slightly over 100%, those numbers would be a lot lower if, if I took those out. I didn't want to factor in for that. I could not find a pattern in this on when I got paid more than what the customer was paying. On average, I think if a customer, if you're, if you're a customer, a rider who's watching this and you're out there and you're thinking, oh, these drivers are making so much money, uh, you know, if you're paying $30 for a trip, they're on average going to get about half of that. And that may be even with your tip. So that's something to keep in mind. I'd be interested if, if any of you kind of stat nerds want to get into this a little bit, I'm happy to share this with you. Um, maybe you can find a pattern in there that I can't find. I'm not really that great with data analysis. But very, very interesting numbers. Let's look back over here at one other thing. I, you know, there were 19 trips where I got paid over 60% of the fare. But half of them, I got paid under 50%. So keep that in mind if you're a passenger. Keep that in mind if you're a driver. I would be interested in knowing if any other drivers have done this kind of analysis to really see how much are you getting paid on each trip and how much is the customer paying. All that information is right there. You can download it. 
and check it out and see for yourself how much you're getting paid. I'm sure there's a lot more analysis I could do with this data. This has been a long time overdue. I had planned to actually post this at the end of October. Stuff came up um, and I didn't wasn't able to get to around it because we hit the holiday season and this is really the first opportunity that I've had to sit down and look at the data again and decide how I want to approach this video. So with that being said, my name is John from Ride Up State. Happy New Year. I hope that your new year is prosperous. If you're doing gig work, I hope that you're, you know, you find something that you can do. This is just supplemental income for me. It's kind of fun for me to do this kind of stuff. But if, if you're doing this full time, you should be doing this kind of analysis. Make sure you, you check it out. Again, check it out. If there's a stat nerd out there, Dr. A, I'd love to share this data with you and see what you can pull out of it. Um, and I think, um, who else is a stat nerd out there? Um, Dash Theory TV, right? Uh, John Dash. I think you like data as well. So if you want to take a look at this, I'm happy to show it to you uh, if you want to get your hands on it. So until next time, again, my name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.